It was on Sunday that the Prime Minister of Norway, Erna Solberg, arrived in Delhi and she is on a three-day visit to India, today being the third day of the visit. But it is not her being the first foreign leader of the year 2019 to visit India that makes it interesting. It is what she said in an interview with NDTV that may interest one and all. Among the other things that she stated about the concerns of national security of India, one statement that may have got many wondering is the former Prime Minister of Norway, Jell Magne Bondovic's visit to separatist leader was purely a private one, which did not involve either of the governments. She further said, he was invited and he wanted to see if there were some possibilities of helping out, but there was no official mission and he was not on a mission from the Norwegian government. The Norwegian Prime Minister, in an interview to Nidhi Razan on NDTV, made this statement. Let's hear it. One of the uh, recent uh, sort of uh, issues that, that raised eyebrows here was the former Prime Minister of Norway, uh, Mr. Bondovic, coming to Jammu and Kashmir and meeting Kashmiri mm. separatist leaders here. He then went on to uh, what we call Pakistan-occupied Kashmir on the other side and met leaders there. Uh, was there any official nod by your government or by the Indian government for his visit here? No, and he runs a private uh, institute, uh, the Oslo Peace Institute, that, uh, that uh, have been working, you know, separately on, on different issues uh, and policy uh, issues to try to solve them. I think he was invited and I think, he, but it, there was no, there's no, Norwegian government doesn't work like that. We do a lot of peace negotiation and uh, uh, around the world, but that's by invitation by the partners, uh, not by single um, single visitors who go go to see it. But I think uh, Mr. Bundewick wanted to. I think he was invited and he wanted to to see if there were some possibilities of helping out. But uh, there is no official mission, and it was not a on a on a mission from the Norwegian government. What needs to be looked at is the fact that it was in the last November that the former Prime Minister of Norway, Jell Magne Bondevik, made it to the international headlines when he gave a surprise visit to the separatist leaders in Jammu and Kashmir. Bondevik was the one under whom Norway made a negotiation for peace between rebels of LTTE and the government of Sri Lanka. And this visit was made days after both the countries of India and Pakistan called the shots to develop the Kartarpur corridor. The meeting with Hurriyat leaders Syed Ali Shah Gilani and Mirwais Omar Farooq took place at Gilani's Hyderpura residence and was facilitated by spiritual guru Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's Art of Living. He says, when we received a call day before the visit, we were surprised. This is the first such meeting with a foreign dignitary in six years. New Delhi had always objected to any such visit to us and for some time now, foreign diplomats would also hesitate to meet us. Mirwais Omar Farooq told this to the Sunday Express. He further says, it is clear that this visit was possible only after the government and gave its go ahead. In New Delhi, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's representative was accompanying the former Norwegian Prime Minister, Mirwes said. He further says, he, that is Bondevik, told us that the main purpose of his visit is to assess the situation on ground. We explained our viewpoint to him. We don't know what will be the outcome of this initiative, but we are hopeful that this leads to a meaningful beginning between the two countries, especially at a time when the opening of the Kartarpur corridor has been the first such positive measure taken by the two countries in some time now. He told us that because relations between the two countries, that is India and Pakistan, have been frozen for some time now, there is a need to help bring it back on track. He further says that violence is a problem. He talked about the need to take both sides of Kashmir along as well, Mirwes said, adding that Bondavik had come for a day and was accompanied by a representative of the art of living from New Delhi. He spoke to us and then had one or two meetings. He told us he would hold a few meetings with officials in Delhi before he heads to Pakistan where he will visit Azad Kashmir as well, Mirwes said. 
Mirwai said Bondevik told them that is a stage when India and Pakistan need assistance because there has been no forward movement between the countries for four or five years. Mirwais said they welcomed Bondevik's initiative. He further says, we told him that we are also convinced that this dispute has to be resolved peacefully. We told him that there is an urgent need to put a stop on the killings here. This morning too, six local boys were killed. We told him that we were in a lot of pain because of this bloodshed, he said. He further also adds, we told him that there is a lot of anger among people against New Delhi's militarized approach. We told him that nobody is listening to us and that all means of communication have been snapped. When, now, when asked during a media interaction after the inauguration of a new green compound at the Royal Norwegian Embassy here in India, that since Norway has worked as a mediator for the peaceful settlement of disputes, she stated, Nobody from the outside can create peace or make changes. It has to come from inside. Now, while we completely agree to her statement that the initiation of the process of the peace has to come on the inside instead of some other country coming in and invoking the imperative question that we want to ask is, why a meeting with a separatist leader and the leaders of the Huryat in the first place was conducted by the former Prime Minister Bondevik? Are we not making relevant and are we not giving, giving them recognition on a global basis? The second integral question that arises that while the current Norwegian Prime Minister concedes to the fact that Bondevik's meeting was a separatist with the separatist leader, my apologies, was an unofficial one and there was no official intent or mission from either of the governments why an official of the country of the Norway visited the separatist leaders. Do let us know in the comment box below. For more news updates, log on to www.swnews.in. If you like this video, please share it and we would love to hear your comments in the comments section down here. Also, please do like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to get minute-to-minute -minute news updates. For more such shows and videos, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel.